Uh, hi, I'm Cheryl. Um, my problem today uh, in my teaching is I teach um, learning technologies, uh, how to use learning technologies to facilitate teaching. And quite often uh, when uh, I have sessions, uh, my participants come in and they're excited to use the technology and they get carried away and they start thinking, oh, I want to use a wiki, I want to use a blog, I want to use clickers. But they don't actually think about what the teaching problem is, so it's actually kind of like this in a way. So I thought, well, how can I get them to start thinking about the learning problems before the actual technology? Uh, and do that in an exciting way. So that was my problem. Uh, my concept is where I have to explain to the students what a composite material is and the advantages over a metallic alloy. Uh, there are various advantages over a composite. If a company wants to make anything bespoke, they now make it out of a composite material. So I need to explain in a simple format in front of the students how to make a simple composite. Uh, okay, great. Look forward to hearing oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> the, the, the items I bought is string and sellotape, and to replicate the fibres in a composite, the string will do. You stick the string to 50 millimeter sellotape. The sellotape acts as the adhesive or the glue, and then you can demonstrate by having a strip of the sellotape with the uh, string attached. You can uh, simulate a tensile test. You've got one minute left. Okay. So my. Um, the resolution to my problem is quite simple, it's just using colourful cards and the big ones and the small ones and that's actually a specific reason. The big ones explain the learning problem and the little ones the technology. And once it gets a concept across that it's technology that doesn't really matter as long as you're resolving the learning problem. Uh, so the learning problems are here and we'd have these stuck from the walls, that's why I've got some sticky as well. We'd stick <coughs> these to the walls and uh, we'd have the problems and the technologies and we'd do a matching exercise. We'd have discussions about which technology might fit which problems. We might swap them around because really there's no right answer but it's just to engage and start discussion about it. <laughs>